This conference is really about the results from the NCAA Department of Defense Consortium findings. And so for the last several years, we've been collecting data at multiple sites around the nation um, about concussion, the natural history of concussion, about what's happening. If you look at this project with the NCAA and Department of Defense across the country, I mean, it's really a unique uh, collaboration. It, it, it's really only one of its kind. This is actually the first meeting where the general public is able to get a glimpse of some of the preliminary data that's coming out even before it's all published in peer-reviewed literature. So really hot off the press data from this massive effort. The amount of uh, people and research that's going into concussion and protection and just education, as a coach you're going, whoa, you know, this is impressive. No other conference gives the sort of money and the sort of resources to their sports medicine for the benefit of the student athletes other than the Pac-12. Pac-12 is really um, taking a leadership role in that and setting the model and the standard for the rest of the country. I think this is a wonderful marriage of intense effort upon, among the Pac-12 institutions and UCLA to study issues of concussion, but then bringing all this expertise from across the country. And only the NCAA can marshal those kinds of resources because it speaks to so many different institutions. We need to have doctors in the room, athletic directors in the room, coaches in the room, student athletes in the room. Um, to figure out how we best address this issue. Um, what's exciting to me is I, I, I think we're just still at the, uh, at the tipping point and we're going to learn so much more about concussion uh, over the years, so much more than we know today. Having events like this where we all can learn from and become educated, I think is a very, very positive thing. Having this broad, broad set of database, particularly female concussion because there's not a lot of data on it right now. It'll be a primary outcome to find out how do uh, women and men recover differently from injury. You know, it's really fascinating to be able to see all the, you know, the West Point come together and talk about the cadets and go into basic training. I think it gives a, sor a sort of legitimacy to it that the DOD is taking this matter very seriously, that they look at the NCAA as a trusted partner. It's been really gratifying to have seen this develop the way it has and truly already giving us in this short time data that we would never have had otherwise.